This is a comparison a lot of you have been waiting for. This is the Maruti Suzuki Jimny. This is the Mahindra Thar and we've had them over the wettest week of the year. Over this video, we'll take them off-road and also compare and contrast them on everyday concerns like performance, comfort and practicality. These are off-roaders, so let's first see them in the kind of setting they are made for. We had Learn Off-Road's expansive training ground outside Mumbai and the plan is to get dirty. While the Jimny and Thar make their way to the obstacles, here are the facts and figures of interest. Both models use tough body-on-frame construction and feature four-wheel drive with low range as part of their arsenals. Hill descent control and brake locking differentials are other features of note. An on-paper comparison will tell you the Thar has far more ground clearance, better approach and breakover angles and can wade through deeper water. And with standard fit all-terrain tyres, the Thar also seems better prepared for the course than the Jimny that's here on its factory fit highway terrain tyres. Then again, the tyres also have to deal with a 500kg lighter SUV. So, how do these differences manifest in the rough? Obstacle 1 in the Thar first. I will be descending down a slippery slope. Uh, it's really wet today. There are rocks also on either side. So, let's see how it goes. Uh, for low engaged hill descent control activated, here we go. While I'm focused on steering as per spotter for the day Rahul's instructions, hill descent control maintains pace to a slow crawl. The chunky 255 section tyres hold gamely through the journey down and up a slippery slope. So no trouble there on that obstacle, uh, it went down smoothly enough, got itself out quickly enough. So I think that's a job well done. Okay, same obstacle in the Jimny and the first thing I can tell you is that my view of the obstacle is very different and that's because I'm sat so much lower. Also on the very same course, the Jimny feels like a much smaller car. The vital few inches count for a lot in a tight environment as this and brings in added flexibility to change my line should the need arise. Of the other things, I notice I have to give a bit more accelerator on the way out, but the Jimny clambers out to safety easily. But yeah, felt quite satisfying. The next obstacle takes us deeper into the wild. Okay, so this uh, obstacle is going to be a bit tricky. So it's a small stream crossing, uh, which I wouldn't consider the hard bit. The hard bit is what comes after that. Yep, I'm to drive down that. Okay, so this is going to be a test of articulation and guts for me I am fully dependent on Rahul's instructions It's a slow dance of weight transfer and then up goes the Jimny's rear tyre It's an awkward angle to work through but there's no fear of the Jimny tipping over The relatively low roof and generally low centre of gravity have a big role to play for this feeling when ground contact is re-established, I'm happy I'm through. On the very same path, the Thar feels different. Sure, the line in isn't identical, but the Thar also does things differently. So on this obstacle, the Thar's wider track and I guess the weight sort of give it uh, form of footing. <laughs> That's not 
the kind of route I do every day. <laughs> I did find myself moving around a lot more in the Thar on the same bits. The third obstacle involves a dip in two slushy pits separated by an oversized hump. The Jimny feels confident in the entry and water, but I fumble on the hump and lose momentum. Nothing a bit more speed can't resolve. The thar makes light work of the obstacle, though on the hump I do feel a harsh snap, which is this 2021 model's rear mechanical locking differential coming into action. Incidentally, the MLD is no longer standard on the thar 4x4 and is only available as a 20,000 rupee option on the diesel thar 4x4. So, which is better? So, Jimny vs thar in the rough. If you talk purely of off-road ability, everything that the Jimny did, the Thar did as well. And whatever the Thar did, the Jimny managed as well. But there are differences in how they go about their business in the rough stuff. The Thar feels like the large and heavy off-roader that it is. And that can be intimidating for uh, newbies in the world of off-roading because on articulation type obstacles, there's a lot of weight transfer and that can feel a bit unnerving. On the other hand, the wide track also gives the Thar a very firm footing. The standard fit all-terrain tires are a boon and will ensure that you make it pretty far without needing to rely on the off-road hardware. The Jimny takes a very different approach to off-roading. The essence of the Jimny is its size and weight and that really shines through when you're going off-road. Uh, it's a small off-roader uh, which means you can sneak your way into tighter trails and uh, the size and weight also comes into play because you have the confidence that you can never get too badly stuck. A few helping hands is all that's needed to get a Jimny out of trouble. What's been really remarkable is the Jimny's performance on its standard highway terrain tyre. Now this has been a really muddy and slushy day but it's managed everything. I can't even imagine what it would do with all terrain or mud terrain tires. See the two off-roaders in the same frame and you'll think they're made to a different scale. They're about the same length but the Thar is considerably taller and wider, rides on big 18-inch wheels and generally looks much larger. And I'm talking the three-door Thar. A longer five-door model comes soon. Big on road presence and macho appeal, the Thar is among the vehicles many will buy for the way it looks rather than for what it does. The Jimny, on the other hand, is all about cutesy appeal. It's got the typical off-roader elements all packed with in a small footprint. It's no wider than a hatchback and the roof isn't all that high either. The 15-inch rims aren't large in absolute terms but they work with the rest of the design. See a Jimny in a bright and happy colour like this kinetic yellow and you're sure to break into a smile. The size difference also plays out in the interior experience both models offer. I'll talk Jimny first. These large doors and relatively low set seats mean getting into the Jimny is a pretty easy and straightforward exercise. But once you're inside, you'll find yourself in a compact SUV in the truest sense because this is a pretty narrow vehicle and you're sat pretty close to your co-passenger. In terms of look, I find the Jimny's dashboard has the more interesting design. I really like the fact that there is a visual connect with these orange backlit dials to the original Gypsy. I really like these chunky knobs for the climate control system you get nice toggles lower down and of course the nine inch touchscreen is the way superior unit in this comparison it's slick to use and packs in niceties like wireless android auto and apple carplay in terms of practicality and in-cabin storage the jimny doesn't perform all that well you do get two cup holders at the center console a reasonably sized glove box but the door pockets are slim and you don't get any bottle holders Moving into the Thar. 
The third experience starts with that reassuring sound on door shut. Now it is a bit of a climb into the Thar's cabin but once you're inside you'll also note that you're sitting in a larger and more substantial off-roader. The windscreen and dashboard extend further leftwards. There's a greater distance to your co-driver and you generally get a more commanding view of the road. The dashboard is quite nicely designed and it's user friendly too with nice buttons for the air conditioning system and I like the fact that the 7 inch touchscreen is placed high up and in your line of sight. Now it's not the slickest touchscreen there is but it does get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so that should see you through most of your adventures and what's also nice is that it has an off-road screen so shows your angles, pitch, roll etc including tyre pressures. Quality levels are pretty nice for what is an off-roader and practicality is reasonably well taken care of too. You get two cup holders up front and bottle holders on both of the front doors but the glove box is comically small. Also the black roof makes the interior look dark. In terms of features, it's the Jimny that packs in more. In addition to the larger screen, features like LED headlights, handy headlight washers, push-button start, auto climate control and a rear view camera are exclusive to the Maruti. The Thar does pack in a driver's seat height adjust but frustratingly there's no rear wiper which limits visibility on a mucky day. Safety-wise, both off-roaders do well to provide electronic stability control, hill start assist, hill descent control and isofix child seat anchorages. The Jimny does go one up with standard fit 6 airbags while the Thar makes two with just two. The Thar was crash tested by Global NCAP and was rated a commendable 4 stars though that was in the old scoring protocol. The Jimny hasn't been crash tested by Global NCAP as yet. Shifting focus to the back seats, first into the Thar. So getting into the Thar's second row is a bit of an exercise and if you're planning to use this as an everyday car for your family, this could be a deal breaker for you. Once you're inside, uh, you will note that the cabin is a lot cozier than the front section and that's because you have these huge wheel arches on the sides but space wise it's okay though your seating position is a bit awkward uh, there's not enough space to sit with your feet comfortably under the front seat so you have this awkward seating position the Jimny easily takes this round Despite these back doors, getting into a Jimny isn't all that convenient and that's because the door aperture isn't the largest. Still, it beats snaking your way through the front door as you would need to do in a Thar. Now, once you're sat inside, you will note that this is a pretty cozy space. Maruti classifies the Jimny as a four-seater and that means two seats only at the back. And it's quite clear because you're sat very close, in fact, shoulder to shoulder with your co-passenger. In terms of comfort, the seat is nicely cushioned. You have an adequate amount of knee room and headroom will only be an issue for the tallest of passengers. Another distinct advantage that the Jimny has over the Thar, aside from those doors, are openable windows. The Jimny also adds to its tally on practicality with far more room for luggage. The tailgate swings open smoothly to reveal space for two medium-sized suitcases. Folding down the seats opens up more room. Access to the Thar's luggage area is a two-step process and there's only space for a couple of backpacks. You'll be forced to travel light though the rear seats do fold down. Back on the move, this time on road, the two models acquaint me with their strengths and weaknesses. One of the highlights on the Jimny has got to be its ride comfort. It doesn't bounce around like your typical body-on-frame SUV does. Bump absorption is good at all speeds and actually speaking, the difference to a monocoque bodied car isn't all that much. So if you're upgrading from a hatchback, a sedan or a compact SUV, you won't feel out of place or uncomfortable in a Jimny. Even on terrible patches of road, your rear seat passengers won't be chucked about as they would in a Thar. 
The Jimny doesn't like winding roads though. There is weight at the steering wheel, but this is a slow steering, which means you'll have to give more lock than you'd expect to. And that can actually catch you off guard on a sudden sharp turn. The other point to bring in is low speed maneuverability. The Jimny is a small vehicle from Maruti, so of course it has to be easy to drive at low speeds, right? The thing is, you will have to put in some effort to twirl the steering and the turning circle is actually quite large and larger than the Thars. Yup, that was a surprise for us too. Now, in a Thar, you always know that you're piloting a big and heavy vehicle. But the surprising thing is that it's actually better than the Jimny on maneuverability. The steering requires lesser effort and the turning circle is actually smaller. But the Thar isn't perfect. The Thar doesn't round off the bumps and potholes as well as the Jimny does. In fact, when you spend time in a Thar, you'll find that it actually amplifies surface imperfections. And a lot of that comes through to you via jolts and shakes from the body. The ride comes into play at higher speeds as well. Now the Thar always feels a bit busy. There is this little bit of up and down movement at all times, even on the smoothest of highways. And bumps do make their way felt through the steering wheel, which means you will have to keep a firm hand on the steering at all times. And what that means is that you will have to scale back on the pace, although the Thar's engine allows you to go much faster. On a hilly road, it's the Thar that feels livelier, and it's not just down to its more powerful engines. The Thar has the more responsive steering and the shorter wheelbase, and turns more readily in the corners. Both models brake effectively, but you'll need more pedal effort in the Thar, and there's noticeable weight transfer to the front in a panic stop. On to the matter of performance. The Jimny is only available with a 1.5-litre naturally aspirated petrol engine that can be had with a 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic gearbox. 4-wheel drive is standard and Maruti has no plans for a rear-wheel drive only variant at a lower price point. Mahindra has been more generous in engine and gearbox options. The range starts with the RWD whose 1.5-litre diesel engine qualifies the Thar for small car benefits and enables a killer starting price of 10.5 lakh rupees. Then there's a more powerful 2.2-litre diesel as well as a 2-litre turbo petrol. In consideration here are the petrol automatic versions of both off-roaders. I'll start in the Thar that has the bigger numbers. Its 2-litre engine makes 152 horsepower and 320 Nm. You can really feel that added power of Mahindra's engine because this is such a freer engine. It gives you power when you want it, when you need it. You don't have to work this engine hard to get the most out of it and it just feels unstressed at all times. The performance difference to the Maruti can be seen in the kickdown numbers. And forget the Jimny, the Thar Petrol's flat-out performance is in the league of mid-size sedans with a 0 to 100 kph time of 10.2 seconds. Refinement levels are also really good because this is an engine that does its best work quietly. The six-speed automatic gearbox also plays its supporting role really well. It gives you the shifts when you want them. And you will like the fact that it's got manual control as well with more intuitive plus-minus type shifters. Into the Jimny, whose 105 horsepower and 134 Nm 1.5-litre engine feels like it's on the back foot from the get-go. The Jimny delivers adequate performance if easy-going driving is all that you're interested in. Now, it won't be that car that runs away from the others at traffic lights, but if keeping up with the flow of traffic is all that you're interested in, the Jimny will suit your needs well enough. But even laid-back drivers will notice that the Jimny just doesn't have the mid-range to pull off a quick overtake. You will have to mash down on the accelerator pedal 
the engine gets all excited and there is some motion but even so there is quite a bit of a wait before you'll actually get past the traffic and this lack of go is most noticeable when you want to overtake at highway speeds If the Thar's ride feels busy, the Jimny's engine feels busy. The engine also sounds strained on steep climbs, so you'll have to drive with a light foot. Let's put it this way, this engine promotes driving at the speed limit very honestly. Not helping the experience is the old school 4-speed automatic gearbox. The 4-speed torque converter automatic gearbox also feels laid back and doesn't like being rushed. You do get some manual control so you have L which keeps to the lowest gear for a given speed, 2 which keeps second gear as the topmost gear and overdrive off which rules fourth gear out of the equation. Where the Jimny does have the edge is fuel economy. Over our time with us, the Jimny delivered 8.5 to 9.5 kpl in the city and 10 to 12 kpl out on the highway. Not Maruti typical figures, but reasonable as petrol off-roaders go. The Thar petrol automatic managed just 7 kpl in the city and 9.3 kpl on the highway. Of course, the other figures of interest is how much these models would cost you. The Jimny range starts at 12.74 lakh rupees for the lower spec Zeta manual, while this automatic in top spec Alpha trim is yours for 14.89 lakh rupees ex showroom. The Thar 4x4 range starts at 13.87 lakh rupees and tops off at 16.7 lakh. The Petrol Auto Thar LX4WD featured here comes in at 16.1 lakh rupees. Buyers sold on the Thar's image but who don't need its off roadability also have the option of the 4x2 versions that bring the entry price down to a very enticing 10.5 lakh rupees. In fact, foregoing 4x4 brings in big savings. The Thar Petrol Auto 4x2 costs 2.6 lakh rupees less than the 4x4 version featured here and effectively undercuts the Jimny. After spending quality time with the duo, the big takeaway is that they are very different vehicles even though they come under the same broad category of off-roaders. The Thar has the size and attitude and backs the tough appeal with significantly more power and performance and genuine go anywhere ability in 4x4 form. But it's not for everyone. The busy ride is something you'll have to live with and the inconvenient access to the back means it's not ideal transport for the family. The upcoming Thar 5 door should address the latter issue, but it won't come cheap. The compact Jimny, on the contrary, isn't the kind of vehicle to give you an ego boost and it doesn't score great on price to size either. The lackluster performance is the other big downer. Judged as an off-roader though, the plucky Jimny has appeal. It's undoubtedly capable in the rough but also fits into everyday life with a comfy ride and the practicality of rear doors and a larger boot. In a nutshell then, the Thar makes for a great additional vehicle in the household but as an only vehicle, the Jimny ticks more of the must-have boxes.